gift to give to Chuck here? It's been waiting a lot of years. It's the more of creative artwork, I think. Is that door open? Well, first of all, um, your article. There's oh. been many years that I have firefighters come to me and say, I'm not having a coffee hour. And I remember saying the very words that you said, hey, this isn't for you. This is for us. So now, the important one. I've been dealing with Chuck for, for I don't know how many years now. He's been hanging on my cover. He's all yours. You can tell the story about that. Chuck Bird. <laughs> no, you tell me. <laughs> I, uh, I think the very first we have a thing in firefighter where uh, you get on the probate, probation list, whichever one it may be, lieutenant captain, lieutenant chief, and you can act if there's a vacancy, uh, or name, which is all kind of technical for the same thing. You can act in the next grade up, and my very first time I'm acting, the paperwork. I think I got, what was it, about an extra 10 cents an hour? Yeah. <laughs> and I submitted the paperwork to get that announced. It's a little more now. Uh, and I didn't get it. The next paper, I didn't get it. The next day, I call, yada, yada, yada. Being the union guy I was, I even think I threatened grievance a couple of times. <laughs> but then I finally got action by taking a Dilbert comment, or a comic, and uh, lighting on a couple things. It became Chuck Bird, but it says, Laura, do you know why my acting pay hasn't showed up yet. <laughs> 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 floor, and next week I think we got my acting pay. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. It's a special delivery from other sources. Howard's <laughs> 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 also probably uh, played with <laughs> Gosh, I wonder who this is from. <laughs> I think she's sitting there. <laughs> oh, she's waving. <laughs> and a firefighter. <laughs> There's a couple other things in there. <laughs> oh, the dispatch shuffle. This was remember the Super Bowl shuffle from the uh, night shift. <laughs> night shift on a. I won't read all this, but uh, we did a dispatch shuffle just to kill one night. A lot of it. When I go out of here tomorrow, you know, it's, it's true that when you pull your hand out of a bucket of water, there's, uh, you know, the water's just going to fill in around it. So I'm going to give some of you young guys a little advice. Uh, that's going to happen to me and it's going to happen to you when you retire. But put your hand in that bucket. Be a part of this place and uh, take responsibility for this place. One of the best things I ever heard. Uh, from uh, Michelle, who is the facilitator we had? Um, Robert Oliver. 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 Every single one of you is responsible to make this a good workplace. Don't forget that. And I also want to thank um, my crew at number four these last few months. Uh, I went there as Chief Tall Duty sent me there to uh, take over a crew at the station. And actually, the opposite happened. Uh, they took me over and they carried me to retirement. And uh, I really enjoyed my last few months here because of uh, Jennifer Bradley and Nick Brizendine. And uh, there's a diamond, sorry. Um, Chad Hughes is not here right now. Uh, I had a, a couple of other lieutenants there. Scott's there currently. Uh, and then uh, Matt Bochamp, who's out at, I think he's probably covering our station right now. But you guys allowed me, it made it hard to make a decision to retire. But then I thought, geez, I'm having so much fun, why not go out on top? So, everybody be safe. Don't forget about that bucket, get involved. Congratulations to Lieutenant Chuck Asher on the occasion of his retirement from the City of Battle Creek's Fire Department. Thank you for all of the service that you have given to your community over the years.